Section 3.1, Graphing Systems of Equations. A system of equations is a set of two or more equations that use the same variables. A linear system is a set of two or more linear equations that use the same variables. Here is what a system of equations is going to look like in this section. A brace is used to keep the equations of a system together. Here are my two equations. We know they're both linear. We've seen this in the past on our previous sections. And we have the same variable in each of the two equations. Our goal is to determine what value for x and y make each equation true, if any at all. In this section, we will do this by graphing. There are other methods, but we'll identify those in further sections. We've graphed many equations in the past. So what we're going to do is use this procedure to solve a system of equations. The first thing we want to do is solve each equation for y, then graph each equation on the same coordinate plane. We'll have three possible outcomes when graphing these two equations on one coordinate plane. A, the two lines are intersected at one point. That means an ordered pair. This is an independent system. That is a unique solution, an intersection at one point. B, the two lines graphed are the same graph. This is a dependent system. There is not a unique solution. The two lines graphed are the same line. And each ordered pair that is on those lines, that is the same line, are the solutions. Or C, the two lines are graphed are parallel. They don't intersect. This is an inconsistent system. Therefore, there is no solution. This diagram represents solutions for A, B, and C in the previous slide. Here, we have one ordered pair. The two lines intersect at a point. That's one solution, and that's independent. Here, this one line is graphed. There's actually two lines being graphed. It just happens to be the same line. That means there's not a unique solution. Every point on these two lines is a solution to the equations. That's a dependent situation. Here, I have two lines that are parallel. That means there is no solution. They don't intersect, and they don't coincide. And therefore, that is inconsistent. The next few slides will be demonstrating examples of solving system of equations. We're going to generate one of these three outcomes. And then what we'll need to do is to label them as independent, dependent, or inconsistent based on how they are graphed. Our first example, we want to solve this system of equations and also label. We're given the two equations, y equals x plus 3 and y equals a negative 2x plus 3. And what we want to do is to follow the procedure as we had on the previous slides. So the equations are already solved for y. So therefore, all we need to do is to generate a slope and y-intercept and then graph them on the same plane. So here on the first equation, m is equal to 1, and my y-intercept is 0, 3. Here I have m being a negative 2 for my slope on my second equation, and my y-intercept is 0, 3. If I graph the first equation, 0, 3, and then my slope, which is up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, and I'm going up, and then to the right I go up because it's a positive slope, and then generate my line. Graphing my second equation, I have my y-intercept 0, 3, and I have a negative 2 as my slope. That would be a negative 2 over 1. Since it's negative, I'm going to go down 2 to the right 1, down 2 and to the right 1. And then I generate that line. I notice that my two lines intersect at a common point, at 0, 3. That is the solution for this system of equations. 0, 3 solves simultaneously the x and y variable for these equations. I need to label. And if I look at my previous slide, that is an intersection. Therefore, I have one solution, and this is known as independent. Our next example, they want us to solve 2x plus y equals 3 and x minus y equals 6. 
From the procedure, I know I have to solve each equation for y. The first one, I'll subtract 2x on both sides. So y is going to equal a negative 2x plus 3. My slope, m, is equal to a negative 2. And my intercept is 0, comma 3. My second equation, when I subtract x on both sides, I'm going to get a negative y equals a negative x plus 6. Dividing by a negative 1 on both sides, I get y is equal to, 1 needs to go into both, that gives me a negative divided by a negative, which is a positive x, minus 6. My slope, m equals 1, and intercept 0, negative 6. Graphing the first equation, I get 0, 1, 2, 3. It's a negative slope, so I go down 2 and over 1, down 2 and over 1. I'm going to create a couple more extra points, and then I'll generate my line. Graphing my second equation, I'm going to get a slope of 1 at my intercept 0, negative 6. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then up 1, because it's positive, over to the right. Up 1, over to the right. Up 1, over to the right. Generating that line. I see that I have one intersection point. That intersection point is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So I have a solution point at 3, comma 3. And I know if I have a point that solves for both of these equations, this is labeled as an independent solution. The next example, we have 2x minus y equals 3 and 2x minus y equals 1. Graphing the solutions, I first have to solve for y. So here I'm going to subtract 2x on both sides. That gives me a negative y equals a negative 2x plus 3. Dividing both sides by a negative 1, I get y equal to 2x minus 3. My slope is 2. y-intercept is 0, comma, 3. My second equation, I'm going to subtract 2x on both sides. That's going to give me a negative y equals a negative 2x plus 1. Divide by a negative 1 on both sides. I'm going to get y equal to 2x minus 1. My slope is 2, and my y-intercept is 0, comma, negative 1. Let's grab the first equation. I have an intercept at 0, 1, 2, 3. My slope is 2, so I'm going to go up 2 to the right 1, up 2 to the right 1, up 2 to the right 1, and create my line. My second equation, I have a y-intercept of 0, negative 1. My slope is 2, so that's going to be up 2 to the right 1, up 2 to the right 1, up 2 to the right 1. And I notice that I have parallel lines. Therefore, I have no solution. And from this slide, I see that this is the diagram that I generated. It has no solution, and it is defined as inconsistent. I could have seen that this was going to be parallel lines by noticing I have two different y-intercepts, but my slopes are the same. And anytime I have equal slopes, I know I have parallel lines, as long as my y-intercepts are different. Our next example, they want us to graph x minus y equals 3 and 4x minus 4y equals 12. 
Solving the first equation for y, I subtract x on both sides. I get a negative y equals a negative x plus 3. Divide by a negative 1 on both sides. That gives me y equal to x minus 3. Here my slope would be 1, and my y-intercept would be 0, comma, negative 3. My next equation, I have 4x minus 4y equals 12. I'm going to subtract 4x on both sides. I get a negative 4y equals a negative 4x plus 12. Divide by a negative 4. y is going to equal negative 4 divided by a negative 4 is x. 12 divided by a negative 4 is minus 3. I get m equals 1, and my intercept is 0, negative 3. Graphing the equation, y-intercept, 0, 1, 2, 3. My slope is up 1 over 1 to the right, up 1 over 1 to the right, up 1 over 1 to the right. Up because it is a positive slope. Then generating my line. Now graphing the second line, I have a y-intercept of 0, negative 3. My slope is still a positive 1, so up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. And when I graph, I generate the same exact line. I really didn't need to graph because I can see from my given information, my slopes are the same, my y-intercepts are the same, even my equations when I solve for y are the same. In other words, these two equations, even though they look different at the beginning, are the same line. Therefore, that line, all points on it, are the solution to this set of equations. If I go back to my diagram, I can see that generates this diagram. Therefore, there is no unique solution. And this is dependent. So I just write not unique. and this is dependent. The next example, they want us to graph x minus 4 equals a negative 1 and y equals a negative 5. Recall that if I only have one variable, I want to solve for that variable. So here I'm going to add 4 on both sides. That gives me x equals 3. Now that I have one variable, I know that I want to generate a table. Here I have x, y. x has to be 3 y can be any value. I'll make it easy ones, 0, 1, and 2. Here I have y equals a negative 5. Since it's one variable, I generate a table. y is a negative 5. And what I do is I create x values that are easy, 0, 1, 2. Anything I want. So I graph 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. 3, 1, 3, 2. And I create my vertical line. Next, I graph my y equals a negative 5. 0, negative 5, 1, negative 5, 2, negative 5. And create my horizontal line. And the intersection point, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I should have known that because when I graph x is 3, y is negative 5, that is the solution to the system of equations, 3, negative 5. And this is one unique solution, and this is known from as independent. And you can always go back to our diagram to view that this is our diagram that we generated, and this is one solution, and this is independent. On our next couple examples, they want us to classify the system without graphing. To do that, we have to take a look at some of our previous examples. Here, if we took a look at my problem when I solve for y, we still want to do that, and then take a look at the slopes. Here, when I solve for y, the equations are different. 
Also, I know that my slopes are different and my y-intercepts are different. If that's true, then I know that I'm going to have one unique solution. And this system is classified as independent. If, when I solve my equations and I determine that my slopes are the same, but my y-intercepts are different, then I know my lines are going to be parallel. And that will give me a no solution situation, and this is going to be known as inconsistent. If when I solve my equations for y, and I can see that they're exactly the same, that will give me my slopes that are the same and y-intercepts that are the same. In other words, I'm graphing the same line. And therefore, I have no unique solution, and that would be known as a dependent system. Therefore, let's solve these equations for y, take a look at their slopes and y-intercepts, and determine what type of system we have. So here I have y equals 1 half x plus 4. Slope, 1 half. Intercept, 0 comma 4. Here, when I divide by 2, that's going to give me y equals 1 half x minus 3. Slope. 1 half, intercept 0, negative 3. So when I view what I have is two slopes are the same, but different intercepts. Therefore, these two equations are going to have lines that are parallel. That'll generate a system with no solution, and it's dependent. My next example, I'm going to solve this equation for y, divide by 5 on both sides. y equals 15 divided by 5 is 3x, 10 divided by 5 is plus 2. My slope is 3, intercept 0, comma 2. This equation is already solved for y, y equals 3x plus 2. Therefore, my slope is 3, intercept 0, comma 2. Notice my equations are exactly the same, my slopes are exactly the same, and also my intercepts are exactly the same. Therefore, these equations would graph the same line. Therefore, this is no unique solution. And an inconsistent system.